another three string cigar box guitar listen it's give me one reason by the great tracy chapman we are tuned to open g so this is an a string tuned down to g a d string tuned normal to d and a third string from a regular six string guitar tuned normal to g so it's a fifth string tuned down to g a d tuned normal to d and a third string or g tuned normal to g super common super common open tuning this song is quite easy. The hard part is not playing it too fast. It's got a real slow, steady groove. And there's only three chords in it, and there's a couple of licks in it, but not too many. So we're gonna start out with your first finger on the second string, third fret. I've got my thumb plucking the third string, my first finger plucking the second, and my second finger plucking the first. <laughs> That's my home base thumb on the big string, first finger on the second string, and my second finger on the third string. So what we're gonna do on this one, when we start out the song, I'm playing all three strings and I'm sliding that first finger from two, three to two, five. thumb on the big string, first finger on the second string, and your second finger on the first string. The way you're going to be picking in this, after you do that slide, I'm only fretting that middle string, but I'm playing all three. And the way that I'm picking is with these fingers, like I told you a minute ago. Now, there's some funky stuff going on there. It's super easy, though. All I'm doing is playing that bass note and then the first and second string. I'm doing that through the whole song. of this song comes out with that finger picking. So I'm gonna do that intro, and this is the part I'm talking about. All I'm doing is thumb, and then the first and second finger. get funky by choking the chords all you're doing so I'm borrowing on the fifth fret with my first finger and then the third finger on the seventh fret that's it. There's only three chords. I'm choking with this hand. So that kills the chord. You're also playing the bass note and then the whole chord. So the bass note first. Got your number. 
song you're going to be playing that same chord progression with that same finger picking pattern all the way through the whole thing the very first part of every verse it does that slide up so i'm playing all three strings and then i'm moving that middle string up to the fifth fret but i'm still playing all three strings or plucking all three strings and it goes through that whole chord progression several times and then there's a guitar solo, all doing the same thing. You're just repeating that same thing. And then you get to the end and it's. So that is the ending lick to the song. And that's the whole thing. So where would you play a solo in this? This is a G tuning so we are in the key of g this whole song is in the key of g so this being a blues it's a minor key and this is your first pentatonic five three zero five three zero five three zero you can also put the in between notes in extra notes because I'm bending. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So you get extra notes there. Plus you can play the in-between notes, even though they're not technically part of the scale. They are stepping stone notes to the notes that are in the scale. So this is in the scale. This one is not, but it walks you down to the one that is, or up to the one that is, if that makes sense. So if you want more notes than your super, super kindergartenish, super simple, all you gotta do is put those in between notes in. And you can really stretch out a pretty cool solo in this slow song. You don't have to play a whole lot of notes, but you can if you want. So if the song is playing this tempo, solo that's you don't have to play just right on the beat right all right so that's the first pentatonic and the in between notes the next one is the fifth fret up to the eighth next one is 10 to 12 and the next one well, we're right back where we started. Three O. So that should give you plenty of ammo as far as playing some solos. This is a slow song, so you want to play your solo nice and easy. You don't want to be dead Nugent on it, right? So my solo would probably be something like, you know, seventh chord this is a really cool seventh one finger on the second string third fret and that would be your G7 you can also do it up here that's the whole thing folks thanks for watching please subscribe check out my website jagshouse.com cigar box guitars just like this one since 2004 and we'll see you next time